Hey guys, I wanted to quickly make a video showing you some of the basic features of GSA Search Engine Ranker. This isn't going to be an in-depth training video, but more of just like a quick walkthrough. <clears throat> you can see here on the left side, um, I have a few projects running. You can run unlimited amount of projects, and it will build links to all these simultaneously. As your links get verified and found, they'll start to show up over here on the right side. It'll show the page rank of the link right here. It'll show the country where it's from. And then if you hover over the link, say like this, it will show you the project name, what type of platform it was, the anchor text, if it's do follow, if it's indexable, the page rank, etc. So as this runs, this will fill out and more and more links will start to appear here. You've got options to adjust the thread count, built-in proxies with a proxy scraper. And this isn't your average proxy scraper. It will automatically, if you decide to use public proxies, it will automatically uh, scrape public proxy sources on the internet and it will test them for you in the background every certain amount of minutes which you can adjust right here so that way while the software is running you never have to stop test proxies scrape proxies and do all that it'll do it all for you automatically but of course you can add your own private proxies if you want to if we go back you can go to captchas and it supports all major captcha providers Death by CAPTCHA, CAPTCHA Sniper, CAPTCHA Infinity, Image Types, DCAPTCHA, Bypass CAPTCHA. And you can set this to where, say, if you wanted CAPTCHA Sniper to be your primary uh, CAPTCHA solver, you would set that in the first one here. And then you could have a fallback service, like, say, Death by CAPTCHA. And if this one fails to uh, complete the CAPTCHA correctly, then it will send it to this one, and this one will complete it. And this will just help with saving on CAPTCHA costs. And then the, in the indexing options, GSA has a pretty extensive list of options to get your links indexed. The first thing is it will automatically submit your verified URLs to ping them. It will automatically ping your links. And then you also have a bunch of third-party um, services like Lindexed, Linklicious, um, Backlinks Indexer. If you're subscribed to any of those services, the software will automatically submit your links to those as they become verified. Also, if you're not subscribed to any of these services, these usually require a monthly fee. There is a software called GSA SEO Indexer, which is which only costs 20 bucks. And if you check this, it will automatically communicate with that software when URLs become verified it will automatically send them to this software and this software will then submit them all to thousands of statistic sites to help them get indexed so by getting this software for 20 bucks you don't have to worry about the monthly fees from Linklicious or anything like that but if you are subscribed to these services you can go ahead and use those to start a new project you just simply click here you can see on the left side there's a ton of different platforms there's article sites blog comments directories and under each one there's different scripts so this one will automatically go out and search for media wikis and then post your content on media wikis this one will search for article directory pro script article dashboard you can select all these, um, it'll build links to all these different platforms at the same time. Social networks, you've got tons of directories. Um, document sharing sites, forums like PHP, BB, SMF, Fee Bulletin. Social bookmarks like Plig, Scuttle, Viral Socializer trackbacks, video submission, and the best thing is all these fields are spinnable 
to keep your content and everything unique. Also, unlike some of the competitors, they're only able to post to blog comments, trackbacks, or a few other platforms because they don't have the ability to register accounts, um, log into email accounts, and then confirm um, the registrations. And this software can do it all for you if you set up the email verification. It will automatically do all that in the background for you, which means basically there's no limits to the software. Any site can pretty much be added to this software. <clears throat> also, it has a built in spin tool that has uh, API for Spinner Chief and the best spinner. So, if you're signed up to any of those, you can paste in your content, click Use Spinner Chief for the best spinner, and it'll automatically spin that for you right here within the software. Also for options, there's a ton of great options. If you want to skip sites with more than X amount of outbound links, you can select that and it will skip those for you automatically. Skip sites below a certain page rank or if the page rank is unknown, you can also use, it will go by the PR of the domain or you can click that and it will go by the PR of the page. But I recommend going by the PR of the domain if you want to get a lot more links faster. You can pause the project after a certain amount of submissions for X amount of time. So if you only want, say, 100 links built a day, you can set that up here. There's a bunch of other options. Uh, if you don't want to use CAPTCHAs, like say you're building links to um, a bunch of article sites or YouTube videos, you probably don't want to waste CAPTCHAs on that. So you would disable that and it will skip sites automatically that use CAPTCHAs. You have options down here for categories. If um, if it can't, some of these websites require you fill in a category, and if the category isn't available, or or if you didn't pick a category, <clears throat> you have the option for it to pop up and ask you, or it can choose a random category for you automatically, or it can skip that site. Um, you also have the option to skip creating nofollow backlinks, and that tries to skip those for you. But I recommend having no follow and do follow because it just looks more natural that way. You can set your project priority. If one of your projects is more important than the other, you can set that to high. It also has a feature to automatically analyze and post to competitors backlinks. Then it supports over 585 different search engines. So you will need to select some search engines. So say you want to do google.com, you would go to United States, and that will automatically, 8 out of 5, 885 are checked. <clears throat> so now you have google.com and most of the United States search engines. It doesn't just use Google, it'll use Lycos and Bing and, and a bunch of other search engines, Yahoo, which is great for finding more uh, platforms to build your links to. Then here you have filter options if you want to prevent your site from being, uh, if your link's being built on the same pages as like pharmacy or, or adult, you could put in keywords here and it'll skip those pages that have these keywords on them. Same thing goes for this, it's a filter except it's a filter for the um, URL domain. If it has a certain keyword in the domain, it'll automatically skip those. So basically, that's the kind of information you would have to fill out to begin a project. If you just wanted to do a basic project, say, that only did blog commenting, trackbacks, um, pingbacks, you really wouldn't be you really wouldn't need to fill out a ton of information you could just put in your URL domain.com keywords loss fitness cardio exercise and then your anchor text which could be fitness cardio weight loss and then you would click start and there you go, there's your new project. Just click it and it becomes active. And now 
that project will start running. And also for projects that have been running for a while, you can right click, you can grab the verified URLs, export them. Um, it'll show your anchor text, it'll show PR, where your link has been built. The D stands for do follow, so if there's an X next to it, then that's a do follow link. If it has an I, that means the link is indexable. INT, this is our internal links, external links. You can right click and sort by PR. You can see how it builds a ton of high PR backlinks. Like here's a PR8 do follow backlink from a forum. And there's a huge, you can see the amount of diversity media wiki, forum, general blog. Um, this is like a guest book, social bookmarks, more forums, media wiki, all kinds of different platforms. So while most of those other software out there might only build links to comments or, or trackbacks, this one has a, a huge variety of platforms that it can build links to. Also you have a stats button here, you can click this and it will create graphs for you, which you can save and it'll give you a breakdown as you can see in this graph 820 links out of 1055 are do follow so that's a pretty good do follow uh, rate yeah but basically that's the overview of the software there's a ton of options um, but as you play with it it gets easier I will make some longer training videos that will cover everything in depth um, but in the meantime you can click the help and it'll open a PDF which will give you a breakdown of a lot of the different features and also checking for updates is pretty important because the software is updated pretty much daily and sometimes twice a day so you might want to click that button every once in a while also version history this will show you what the latest updates are. As you can see, there's been a ton of updates since it's been released. Just today, three new forums were added. Quicksilver, Use, BB, and Expression Engine. So yes, this is a tool that will build links for you 100% automatically, requires no monthly fee, um, and I've ranked quite a few of my own websites on the first page using only this software. So go ahead and give the trial a free try and uh, let us know if you like it.